web video? Are we doing video? No, go ahead. What's up? Are we doing video? What do you mean? I got my web webcam working. <laughs> you can if you want. <laughs> Here, let me promote you to a panelist, man. Let's try that, man. Oh shit! There you go. Is the camera on? Okay, let me start the. How do I start the? I have, you are. I have no idea how to do that, bro. We usually just do talk. Okay, I see it. Join us, panelists. Guys, so if you have any questions while we set this up for Bao, he's, um, this, is, this is your time, man. We have price raises tomorrow. We're getting rid of the monthly. If you have questions about trading, this, if you have any questions possible, this is your time to ask. Please ask. You don't want to be blindsided and be like, hey, man, I slept on a huge opportunity. <laughs> Travers goes video just for only can. But you, you stopped the video. You cannot start the video because the hosts have stopped it. Uh, I didn't touch anything. I just made you panelists. I don't know if. Uh, Hold on one sec. Did that work for you? Uh, start video. You cannot start the video because the host has stopped it. Whatever that means. Not doing anything. One sec, brother. Let me see. Something. Who's the host? Me or you? <laughs> oh, panelists. I would assume me. <laughs> oh, weird. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can make you host. All right, just change you to host. Oh. Hey, it's good. There we go. See you, David. Yeah, baby. Should, you I get, should I get out that bottle again and use that as a, uh, <laughs> as a holder? <laughs> Do your thing, man. I can't even see you, so I don't even know how. What can you guys hear me? I can't. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys. I will take all questions. Today is a great day for education. I think we 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 can stop selling now. We have too many people. <laughs> I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna cut it off. So handle. <laughs> so any questions you guys have? There we go. Got it. I see you. Guys, any questions? What do, do you have questions about MIC process? What Bao traded just now, literally on v, why he traded VYGR or uh, or what, what BBT? Oh man, I, I messed up that cover there because I was channel trading it and then it broke under. But BTBT has been deadly all all week. Oh, so dude! Want to chase it? Bao, uh, I've been trying to tell you weekly, bro. That ten percent, just hold ten for hold the pinky, bro. Diamond finger, man. Dude, you're the one that came up with that term, diamond finger. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, uh, so, so stocks like BTBT runs on Bitcoin. So before you get into a stock, you need to understand what the stock, what the stock does, right? What the company does. Because if, if you're purely trading based upon ticker and chart, you, 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 you're missing a huge component. You're missing a uh, catalyst of the move. You need to figure out the catalyst in the move, which is, uh, you know, like you, you try to paint a picture paint a picture, right, of the move. Why is it up? If you do not know why it's up, to me, it's very dangerous. I do, I do not like to trade stocks. I do not know why it's up. There's a lot of stocks these days that get pumped up. If it's pumped up, that's a callus. If, uh, so now BTBT is running because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going up. And BTBT, in my opinion, they're washing it down. Let me actually go long. Let me see. I want to go long around the 1120 line. Let me see what's I'll draw that for you guys. So guys, watch how we do that here. Let me remove all these real quick. Let watch what we're doing here. So I'm going to show you the chart I'm using. I'm going to post a chart in here. And I'm going to. Uh, if I'm looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's at highs of the day right now, right? Is that fifty-four thousand? Yeah, it's at, dude. Yeah, it's like no signs of stopping right now. It looks like fifty-four, almost close Correct. to five. Oh, you see that eleven twenty-three blue line? That's actually a pivot line. That's auto generated by the charting program. Yep, mine's a red I, line, guys. So it coincides with what Bao's talking about. That's the red line on mine because I'm using TOS. Yes. Okay. So the, so that's auto generated. We have videos on how to put these pivot points, pivot lines into your into your program. Okay, guys. See now I'm getting FOMO. Do I want to enter one? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say about to wait to 1120 was actually like the 1140 line right there with this support and everything, but because we're yeah. so the pivot. I was like, uh, this is my guess. So I'm taking a look at the clock. Right, the clock is 3 p.m. So 
we have a time-based rule that says um, towards the end of the day, starting at 3 p.m., you should be careful about shorting strong stocks because towards the end of the day, especially 3.30, 3.30 is the time that I really want to get into these stocks because uh, shorts that are stuck want to cover before the end of the day. And, it, and it's so funny about how it's, how it's actually to the minute bouncing right now when the short edge, the one hour short reversal hour edge is actually wrapped up. Like, dude, look at the, it's on the minute too. Like, yeah, the, the scary thing that is weird about BTPT that, that, that prevents me from really going long a lot is the fact I'm looking at the VWAP. It's 1177. It's so strange that the VWAP is this high considering this thing came from $10. Isn't it odd? I'm like, what's going on, right? So I guess they walked it up on air or something. And so the fact that right now, if I'm buying it, I'm buying it under VWAP. Which is never something we want to do as our first resort. But again, if there's a ton of support, still you have to look at it's a multi-day runner, right? Like guys, if you looked at this like a day one, I'm almost certain Val would never long here. But look at where it came from, right? This is what we're talking about. This is actually still pretty in the money for anybody that long from yesterday, 789 to where it's trading at in the 11s up here. So it's actually, this is a day two, so I'm a little more scared. If it's day one, I wouldn't be, but... Um... But if you take a look at, at this, I, I'm gonna post a picture right now. It bounced off this morning from this line here. So in trading, charting is basically a history of what happened in the past. And that's the only, only thing we can base our predictions on is what occurred before. So, um, so this is how charts are formed. Charts are formed from previous data, right? Previous prices. And so, so if you take a look at where I circled it, that's where it bounced this morning. So I'm hoping to get long there. Even though it's under VWAP, the rule is this. I mean, this BTBT is just weird to me. I don't know why VWAP is so high on this, right? But um, if you take a look at the volume profile, most of the volume is up there. So it seems like there's sold a ton at the $12 line. So you gotta be careful too. So I'm not gonna keep adding and adding. I'm going to stop out at some certain point, right, guys? So, but we, we always say you, you can trade however you like as long as you predefine your risk. So I am going to scale that 11, 20, 11, 20 line. And maybe I'm going to, because it doesn't have a small, I'm going to hold it and see where it goes. If it, if it flushes way under 11, I'm going to get out. But we see that there's another support right around here. Let me expand it. So I'm going to show you how to read these charts. Yeah, I'm drawing a window, guys. So I like to use line charts to get these notches. This is what we talked about yesterday in the in the webinar. So these are the two support areas I'm looking at. If it's under that's that bottom circle, it's game over. You gotta get the hell out. Yeah. I totally agree, man. That's so right. this is how I read charts, guys. Um, the blue, the, those lines are all generates called pivot lines. Uh, we have videos on that. Uh, and so this is how I'm drawing my support area. So I'm looking at the previous support. So 1120, and then it, it seems like the, 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 the other notch is at around 11, 1088 or something like that. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, I'd say with the base of the candles about, yeah, it looks 1087 is the, is the cutoff for this is probably a failure. Correct. And so, so the reason I'm looking at this is because I'm, I'm thinking this could be a multi-day runner if it holds, if it holds. Because Bitcoin, this is based on Bitcoin and Bitcoin is still going up. Here, I can I'm just doing a scalp for the end of the day. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'm just going small size. So I'll just pull a Bitcoin live price as well. Fuck it. <laughs> so you guys can see for the example. 50, almost 55,000. It's pretty strong right now. Let's see if I can minimize this a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. I wanna, uh, yep. Any other questions, guys? So I'm, I'm just showing you a possible long scenario, how I'm, I'm tracking to use the time-based rules to my advantage. Um, Grom 
G R O M. I wish I had a locate, but it's too expensive. So I'm not going to touch that until tomorrow. Gotcha. Uh, but man, if I touch this, it'd be $5 short and five fifty short and probably make 50 cents. That's, that would be the, um, but the locates are like 11 cents. I was like, that's not worth it for me. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. Um, imagine if you lose and you lose 11 cents. <laughs> Now, do you, want, do you want to talk about your VYGR trade? Because I already know what you did, but just to kind of explain for some people out there that are kind of new. Are there questions on the YouTube? Uh, I think I saw someone earlier asking about it. I saw something about, yeah. Uh, someone asking about the lines on LMFA. LMFA? All right, hold on one second. That's that party, party rocks group, right? <laughs> you remember that group? Oh, you, mean, you mean LFMA. <laughs> LMFA, yeah. LMFA, right? Wait. No, 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 no. L- <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, I'm, I'm laughing my ass. No, dude, laughing my ass off. I don't know. <laughs> what was that group, guys? Party Rock City? Yeah, that's the one of dumbass fucking videos. <laughs> Party Rock Anthem, right here. <laughs> Every time I see this stock, it reminds me of this group, dude. <laughs> Val's about to get, bust out the shots. <laughs> All right. The wrong one. Oh, this is awesome, Santo man. <laughs> I love this group. <laughs> Anybody that chased it looks like these guys right now. They're pretty burnt. <laughs> Dude, let me see. These are the guys. In the, in you, in the office, uh, oh wait, no. If I play this, YouTube's gonna take our video down. And copyright. I can't play it. <laughs> You know what it is, though, right? This is yeah. Not funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everybody. <laughs> but anyway, so if you take a look at that, someone asked me, like, how do you move your lines down? LMFA. I'll give you a little tip on this, okay, guys? Let me see. LMFA. So, this is what I'm pissed about, man. I, I was I was ten cents too high, guys, because LMFA is a low float. It's like four million. So I was hoping it gets pumped up, but didn't get pumped up this morning. Yeah, we're but talking. This, about is, morning, but this is what I noticed, guys. Take a look at this. This is the active shelf. There's a freaking, there's a freaking shelf that's brand new, August 16th. So that's usually a good indicator that they're trying to sell shares. It was brand new. Yeah, it's really recent. That's what we're talking about. Right. And so they, so this is a standard pump and dump. <laughs> well, they, knew, they they report the news, they gap it way up, and then they're walking all the way down all day. So all day long, every every long is getting killed. Dude, that's a lot. <laughs> So this is why you need to predefine your risk, know where you're going to get out before you even enter the stock. Yep. Yeah, it didn't jump high enough for us. We didn't catch it. But, dude. I, I, um, Alice got it at – a lot of the members got it at 508, 507. Please, I, I was 517. Because uh, I'm like, dude, this thing is low float. I, I'm like, I don't want to start too soon. I thought we were going to see 520, to be honest. I thought at least 5. Yeah, I thought we were going to see 520, 540. But if uh, if uh, if the known pump pumper was here, he would probably do this because it's four million. I, we would have cleaned up, man. He would have yeah. destroyed it. Seriously. But unfortunately, he's on vacation, and we missed out on big bucks. <laughs> and we so that, someone asked me about the lines and stuff. Uh, when these things tank like this, man, I, I move it down. It's, it's just too too far down to even chase. I'll put the pivot points on so you guys can see. It's yeah, it's just it's so you have to be very careful, guys. This is why MIC is good because it people are not gonna see these filings, guys. I mean, these are the things that if you're a new trader, you have no clue why this thing would not bounce. You don't understand dilution, you don't understand all this stuff. And so you keep adding and adding and mortgaging your home, selling your car to put more in. Yeah, like CEI, right? Like, oh my goodness, look at this stock. Yeah, CEI recently, man. When known pumpers are like, "Hey guys, this is a great stock." When they're when it's trading at three forty, and then when it goes to, you know, when these things happen, they have no idea why they're mortgaging their house and they don't know why at one freaking dollar, dude. And little did they know, right? Like, this is the shit that we're talking about. Same with L M F A. Man, I I can never remember that. But <laughs> but the point is, guys, it's like it's the same kind of. You got to know, you got to, as a trader, you need to be well-rounded. You know, you need to know at least the preliminary stages of filings, how much dilution, can they dilute? Is it recent active shelf? 
um, you know, warrants, et cetera, et cetera. And there's just reasons why these things bounce or don't bounce. And I mean, there's a very clear reason why something like this didn't, didn't bounce today. But Val yeah. said if, if certain- Dude, my, two set, on, my 297 didn't fill for some reason on Acer. Acer? I'll just show an example of a channel trade. So when you see a stock trap between two lines, I call that a channel. And all I do is I play ping pong back and forth. I just like drawing the tops near these. It's just, it's such a good reminder of like, Hey, where are the ceiling, 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 ceiling. Like this is what Val's talking about, right? Your 297 didn't fit. Oh, it hit 296, bro. <laughs> That's two times in a week, Val. I've seen your, your, you've been one I'm penny all about, off. I'm all about like one penny, man. Dude. That's, you know, that's money right there. I feel like, I feel like that's the equivalent of like trying to get a discount at like Taco Bell. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, it's true. My, my, I think my Taco Bell is here. Maybe just a little <laughs> bit of money, man. It's been dropped off. Okay, guys. <laughs> questions? <laughs> Who's got questions? Who's got questions? Um, this week has been pretty slow, guys. Uh, when things are this slow, you have to be extra, extra careful that you don't get bored and force trades. Because there's not many opportunities for you to make back the money. When things are slow, they become illiquid. It means there's more, more possible for manipulation. Exactly. Some days you just, some days it's like, you know, it's good just to not even make a trade if you don't need to. The, the, people always want to become a full-time trader thinking they're trading all the time, but full-time trader doesn't trade all the time. It's just, you know, they are able to sit there and wait for their opportunity. It doesn't mean that we're in the trade all the time. We're in the trade actually very little. A full-time trader takes it seriously and shows up and, and, and prepares and only strikes when he's got an edge, man. I'm telling you. I'm a, oh, my God. I'm a, simple, I'm a simple trader, Bond. All I do is limit orders, man. I don't do anything fast. Let me, let me go get my Taco Bell. <laughs> Give now, me now, now, the guy that wanted to leave MIC because we're not an alert service, he called two times. Should I put him on the webinar? <laughs> Yo, you're on a public webinar. What's up? <laughs> See you, dude. <laughs> and he's out of there. Hey, is he a monthly? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, this guy literally just joined and was like, I have to leave MIC. You guys don't provide alerts. All right, well, then. Then go to Farmer, dude. <laughs> like, this is the shit that we're getting rid of, man. We are not working eight, 14 to 18 hours a day to deal with that shit, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, let me tell you, man. Bring him on. T ask him why he wants alerts. <laughs> alerts like the guys that have been saying buy CEI two days ago, dude. You want alerts? There's your alert when you buy right here, dude. <laughs> just fucking hell man <laughs> we're too old for this shit dude i'm 31 these days now i ain't got no tolerance for that oh my god look man we will provide every resource for you guys and teach you every single perfect way to trade but all that we ask is that you have a work ethic literally that's it man just please be willing to work because that's all that i mean any form of success in any industry it's like, it takes work, man. Joe's not going to be good at real estate getting alerts from some real estate guy. Like, it's just how it is, dude. It's just how it is. <laughs> oh, he wants his money back? <laughs> I, I guess, man. I guess he's been hounding me. Right, man. I'll get back to you. We're on a public web. Okay. You guys want to, you guys want, okay, forget that guy. I mean, seriously, it's kind of like, you know what, man? Um, sorry, guys. No refund. <laughs> You know, I, I, we normally would if they were nice about it. Yeah. But the, message, the message that he said was just ridiculous. He basically, he's upset that I post or we post our, our charts without letting him know ahead of time so that he can copy us. Well, it's just, it's as simple as he wants what farmer has. It's, he wants front running. He wants, and he doesn't know it. He doesn't even know what he wants. That's the problem. And anybody, you know, it's not even singling out that one guy. It's, it's just single out, it's singling out the get rich quick mentality is let me know when you get in a stock so I can get in and I can sell in three seconds, make $200. And then I can go about my day. And I didn't even know why I made money. This is the stuff, guys, that you have to get out of your head. There's no lottery tickets out there. Even if you join a pump service, guess what? 
you'll make money on the first three. The fourth is going to bankrupt you because you're going to get a CEI or you're going to get a, um, you're going to chase an alert on LMFA one day at freaking 549. And guess what? You'll be selling full size at 440. It's just how it is, man. It's a numbers game. And they, and front runners and pumpers do not teach you how to do risk management. They just, you just chase. So I'm done with the pump rooms, loving MIC so far. Nice, Eli. Nice. Guys, do you have any questions about anything that we just said? Do you know what front running is? Do you know what pumping is? Do you know what we're like actually talking about? Because this is education day. Yeah, tell them, tell them why, why alerts are bad. I don't think people understand. People think that these pumpers are helping them. Yeah. When all the pumpers are doing is front running. Yes. What front running means? Explain to them what front running means. Well, guys, check this out. So this is actually a perfect example of front running. So dude, don't worry about the lines or anything that like the pivot lines. I'm going to take those off. Think about if you had a chat room, right? If you had a chat room of 2,000 members that you could do what's called alert service or send out, you know, alerts to their phones, emails, whatever gets people to chase you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to target in a liquid stock, something like LMFA that doesn't have an insane amount of volume, something that can create artificial volume and actually manipulate price action. Hence, if a pumper or a pumper with a massive following was not actually there, it wouldn't do the artificial move, right? So here's what happens. A guy comes in with 2000 members, maybe he streams on YouTube and he's got 10,000 viewers just for free. Beyond the lag time, here's what he does. He goes, okay, I can create an artificial move in this because there's a lack of volume. It's quote unquote in a liquid stock. So I'm going along at 490 and I'm going to give it a couple minutes and alert every single one of my followers. They're going to think that I just cured cancer, the next gold rush, and they're going to pump, 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 buy it up. So when you have a bunch of what's called sheep, following and following and tripping over each other to be the quickest one and the quickest out. It's like a two pump chump. The, the pumper gets his move. He gets the move because you guys bought, 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 bought and, and demand subsequently overhauled supply and the stock shoots up. But here's what happens. Our famous pumper that does that every single day was not active today. Had he been, this is what Val was saying. This might've gone to 550. So say it does. Say Furu longs right here alerts. By the time it gets right here, guys, guess what's happening? He's selling, but then it's also a delayed reaction again. So artificial volume has to come out at some point. So when all the member bases are still chasing at 540 and 550, this crashes back down usually, or does a death candle, does a stuff move. It just tanks like crazy. You know, maybe they have dilution, et cetera, et cetera. People or members or people that are following him, sheep, AKA sheep, are left holding the bag on the long side. He's already made his money. This is what he wanted. He got exactly what he wanted. Uh, well, the, the thing is they, they target low float companies. Correct. So example, the big pumper on Twitter bought 282,000 shares of GROM. That's a 4 million float. He almost, he has to freaking almost register. <laughs> he owns like more than 3% or something, right? <laughs> this is what a pump, this is what Val's saying, guys. This is what a pump and dump looks like. This is Furu alerting right here. Hey guys, Jeff Bezos is going to acquire this piece of shit Aerotine. And then all the sheep buy it up thinking it's going to cure cancer. And they're still chasing up at 590. By the time this collapses and the artificial volume comes out and the air of the balloon, so to speak, releases, you are caught underwater 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 and he's already made his money and it's on to the next liquid stock on to the next one and on to the next one it's like let me just catch this fish and then get a bigger fish like so you have to understand that when you follow people or you look for alerts you are putting not only your hard-earned money you are putting everything that you know of trading or your executions in someone else's agenda so when we tell a new member, like the guy that just tried to call, hey, brother, we don't do alerts. We actually teach you how to trade so that someday, you're, whether you wanted to or not, you know, quit MIC, you could because you actually understand the learning. Like you wouldn't need an MIC in a year because you've learned. Now, a lot of members stay because it's such a fun, exclusive community. I would never want to leave MIC. I, I can't imagine any successful trader because you want to be around other successful traders and learn and grow and but the point is, is technically our teachings are so good that one day you wouldn't need MIC. But the guy that chases alerts will need alerts for the rest of his life, every single day. If, if, if anybody posts an alert, you have to ask yourself, are they already in it? 
what's in it for them. Correct. What's the agenda? It always comes back to an agenda as Bal stuffs his face. Bal, what do you got over there? Taco Bell? Taco Bell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But the point is, the Good point is, is do, like I'll say, it's going to sound so cliche and so f- stupid, but are you taking your life and putting yourself behind the driver's seat or are you sitting passenger and letting someone else drive the car of your life? That's what people who want alerts are doing. They're saying, I'm going to just give all my, res- all my respect, all my executions and all the intellect to someone else. Dude, I'm sorry. I can't live life like that, man. Like I like to be in the driver's seat. Like is that, is that so stupid to ask that I just, you know, be the driver of my own life? Uh, there's a guy named Funny Footage. On yeah. Can I answer him? Oh, uh, one sec. Let me pull up YouTube. All right, let me see. <laughs> First of all, we only trace Fox. Forex is a scam. Don't fucking touch Forex. The, the people that are trying to sell you Forex are making money off of your, your account openings. They get a percentage. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Val, who were you talking about? Uh, who is Farmer? I keep hearing that name. Funny footage on YouTube. Oh, funny foot. Uh, last questions. When the offer. Oh, oh, Eastern Standard Time. Yes, guys, tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Um, please reach out to me before then. Um, I know guys are going to wait till the last minute, the last second, and it always happens. It's okay. Be, uh, keep, keep going down. There's another one. Yep, yep. Please, um, please do it before then. <laughs> it says, I saw your website. It's 2K. Yes. So let me just give a, a quick example. Annual is 2000 right now. Tomorrow, it will be 4,000. Lifetime is 8,000 right now. We are doubling that as well. If you guys want the rates that, and I'm also even discounting lower than what they're offered on the site this week, only until tomorrow. If you guys want that last minute pricing, all you have to do is either send an email or text my line and I will help you out. Um, email. Oh, the first guy, you know, you didn't see his question because uh, can he upgrade later? Oh. So uh, just to kind of give you an in-depth generalized answer to that, if you are already on a tier, so if you're on monthly, you can pay monthly for the rest of existence MIC if you want, but if you upgrade later past tomorrow, it's going to be the new rates, not the old rates, but anyone that's already in on a tier. So if you're annual, you're never going to be blindsided. uh, Annual next year will not be 4,000 for you. It will remain the price that you pay this year and so on and so forth for years to come because that's what co- that's what grandfathered means is you're grandfathered into the price you previously paid for upcoming months or upcoming years but if you want to upgrade it is the new rates don't I, sleep I, on- I, I, I suggest the guys on YouTube uh, join in at least as a monthly and then you can decide and maybe we can do something for you in the future but right now uh, the monthly will go away so yep. So basically, you got to join us in monthly. We won't yeah, that. yeah. S- signing up monthly today, guys, is your last option to get monthly is almost just like hedging your bet, right? It's just locking in a spot just to make sure because it's not going to be offered again. So any monthly that's already on monthly, they'll have monthly as long as they want. But anyone looking in and like, hey, Tosh, you know, uh, can I get monthly? I'm sorry, man, you can't. Tomorrow's the cutoff forever. You can get annual or you can get lifetime. And even those are doubling in rates. So again, MIC is not a cash grab. If we wanted to make a million dollars a month, you know what you do? We provide alerts, we pump to all our sheep, and we make MIC $50 and just have everybody and their mother join. That is not what this community is. It's a community on value. It's a community on true education and learning. So if someone wants to come in, we want someone who is not going to want alerts. We want someone who is going to say, hey, I want to make a very brighter future for myself financially and maybe quit this job I hate. So boom, you're going to learn how to trade, brother. I hope that was clear. Oh my God, see you guys under a dollar. Oh shit. 94 cents, man. Dude. 93 it hit holy shit this is this this is the stuff that we're talking about guys people were pumping and pumping and pumping and there was no reason to pump this ah uh, it's it or, or it, more so there's no reason to hold this long guys are mortgaging their house thinking this is there's a very big difference guys and i'll i'll kind of you know end with this on the whole rant on that is there's a very big difference on a stock on sale versus something that is just a terrible investment cei is not a stock on sale Coca-Cola, you know, Coca-Cola on, on, on a dip may be a stock on sale. Let's, uh, let's pull up the, the week chart on that, the, the seven-day chart. Uh, yeah, here, I'll do it. Let's go, through the, uh, let's go through the anatomy of a pump. Yep. 
about right here. I'll, here's a 30 day chart. I'll zoom back as far as you want. You want to, you like probably this was major pump day on, um, when was this 929? This really started to pump. Now I tell you. Yep. <laughs> Pal's having a full fucking lunch over there, dude. <laughs> you're giving me up. You're giving me FOMO, man. I'm starving. <laughs> Nothing but coffee and tea. Okay. I, um, Okay, so CEI, pull up that chart I pulled up, Tosh. Oh, one sec. Uh, one sec, buddy. Ah, here we go. Okay. Hey, you're, you're the king of um, of um, the um, those are the fucking death signals. So. <laughs> so well, <laughs> well, my favorite. You're, you're the king of the death candles, and explain the death candle, and how it it. Is a good signal indicator that the top has been reached? Well, so so when you have an uptrending chart like this, guys, one of the biggest things that you're looking for, and this is how we mitigate any of our members personally from fighting trend. It's called waiting for confirmation. So on this day last week, when on 929, when this happened, this is the start of the end of a pump or the end, or just even say this was a day one, that could be the start of what's called a trend reversal. So you, I do. When I was a new trader, man, and I was on the long side, I would literally just want to long stuff all day because, you know, I would even long stuff off this because I thought it was a great dip. I thought I could get the stock on sale. This is the stuff you actually don't understand. This is a shift of perspective as traders. This is what the shorts are waiting for. So last week when Alex and Bauer were really able to live capitalize on this, this is the start of a trend reversal. You've got a death candle or what's called a death candle. It's usually on the three minute chart, very identifiable. Um, a lot of, you know, selling comes after this because it finally gives a bunch of longs who've been kind of longing, maybe investors who've been in it for days, a reason to go, wait a second. This had the most volume. It was three or four times bigger. Oh my God, this is a confirmation of a possible reversal. And then look what happened. That's this candle right here on Bow's chart. And ever since that day, guys, we had a lot of selling pressure, but here's what happens on these pumps. Um, either dead cap bounces or just outer lines or because they keep pumping. But once the pump starts to get a whiff, like, like a whiff of getting over, this is what investors start to do. It just air, volume bleeds out. They forget about it. Maybe there's a new pump and just selling pressure, selling pressure, selling pressure into what could be just massive eventual dilution and what the insiders or the agenda was all along. And this is what you're seeing here, man. You just see all of, I'll kind of expand. You let just, me, uh, let, me, uh, let me take over. Just, uh, pull up my chart. Yep. One sec. I'll go right back. All right. Here we are. Yeah, pull the full chart, my chart. Uh, did you post another one or is that what you're talking about? I posted it. Yeah. I did, okay. uh, but oh, no, no, not YB. No, that one, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on one second. So notice on the way up guys, I have this thing called the three day rule. Usually on the third day, things tank. In this case, this is a cult stock. It, it, there was one fake out at the, on 928. He said death candle and it marched back up. So when things like this happen, you got to get the hell out. When they death candle, but then they, they walk up to high of day. If you're short, you got to get the hell out. Because the next day, look what happened. We ran all the way up, right? Dude, and dude. so take a look at this. It looks like the FU pattern, right? You put your middle finger up there. Put it right there. The middle right. finger right there, guys. So when these things, so now you obviously you can see how the trend is obviously reversing, right? This was the tell this day. This thing started at 50 cents or a dollar or something ridiculously low. And so if you're chasing this at $4, $3, you got to ask yourself, am I stupid? <laughs> you got to ask it, yeah, look at the mirror and go, am I stupid? I mean, dude, you are basically now the sheep. They are selling to you because what is the risk reward? So all these pumps end the same. I don't care what the hell they say. They all end the same. What they do is this. It takes a week to walk up and it takes 10 minutes to tank down. Yep. Stocks take stair steps up, elevators down. This is what we're talking about. Look at these two days. This was the start of a reversal because this was just slowly pump, 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 pump. When the air comes out of the balloon, guys, this is like, I, I always like to, I, I, it's kind of funny, but it's like, it's like a knife wound, right? Like if this was, 
you know, there's little slits. So this is like the throat slit, dude. And then this is just the death line. Like this is just dead in the water of six feet under. But you, it, the thing about short selling is you're like a shark swimming in water. And the first drop of blood that spills, you go, oh, wait a second. Oh, yo, rally the troops. I smell blood. There's a sense of fear. That's why, you know, if there's no fear in the stock, there's really no reason to get in because maybe the chart hasn't, you know, acclimated to any type of fear. It's not downtrending. It didn't have a trend reversal. It's not under VWAP. This was the first day where investors got nervous. The drop of blood in the water was spilled and the sharks come. So that's the whole point behind this is like, what's the psychology that I can put myself in the long side? And what's the psychology I can put into the short side? And that is where you really start to make it as a trader when you can predict both sides based on what the chart is currently doing, currently. It's very simple, guys. What goes up must come down. Exactly. And then when it starts coming down, you have to ask yourself, if I was long the stock, I now am official back holder. Right. All, I'm doing, all I'm doing is wishing to break even. I'm not even wanting to make money anymore. So every pop that goes up, I, there will be a set of sellers just wanting to break even, wanting to get out. So at a certain point, a certain support that breaks, it's pretty much game over. We call that the death line. You can see where the death line in this case is around the $2.80. Which, which equated as a pivot line as well. But you can see that this support, you know, it tried to reach down there, tried to reach down there, almost reached down. This is a serious line. You got a notch right here. This is a serious line. When this really broke, I mean, it was just like, dude, it was, this is, this is ugly. Anybody, anybody still holding, and I, I hate to say it, guys, because maybe someone on YouTube is in this situation. Anybody holding CEI right now at 93 cents and you bought anywhere upwards of three and four dollars, guys, you are one hundred percent a gambler. You are one hundred percent not a trader. And it, that kind of scenario or that kind of habits, you you have better odds in Vegas, man. Because what Bao said, what goes up in these pumps must come down. And sometimes it is hard to time when these things really drastically happen, but they usually like 99% of the time eventually do. So you guys got to be careful, man. You don't invest in small cap OTCs, uh, small cap stocks, anything on the gray market. Like they're trades, they're trades. So you got to be careful, man. You really got to be careful. I hope that's clear. Yeah. Bell, what'd you, oh, what'd you get there? VYGR? Oh, nice, nice. You hit the four line. Nice, dude. Today's really slow, guys. I didn't even this jump. When did that jump? Damn. Again, again, look where Bell's shorting, guys. Whole and half dollar level where this was a previous resistance, arguably up to this level of 414 because there's not too much range. And right here where this previous resistance is. So that's where he put his line. Nail and bail. It's basically channel trading. Simple yeah, as that. Mark, Mark is really slow right now, so... It's kind of take it easy, guys. No sizing up. Just kind of wait for your spots. Yep. Any other questions? We are going to tear apart bag holders today because you need to hear the blunt truth about why you're losing. There's good habits and there's bad habits. And just holding, if you're at any point, I've learned this over the years. Believe me, you have no idea how many times I've learned this. If I'm going to bed researching why I why this company's terrible because I'm overnight short of, you know, low float or something that's eaten, eat, eaten me away overnight. If I'm losing sleep, if I'm hoping something happens, if I, if I can't sleep because I'm too stressed, guys, you're not a trader. You're a gambler. I did it for many years. I'd go to bed short. I'd be down a ton of money and I would just pray to God for a gap down the next day. It would happen a lot, but dude, if you're on the wrong stock, like a KBIO in the past, or uh, I think it was like an LMFA type or something like dries, you know, you never know, man. It doesn't matter long or short. I'm just using the example. If you're holding and hoping you do not have a process, my friend, and you're more on the side of the indicator of gambling than versus trader. I just hate to say it, but it's just true. And, and we teach you how to um, kind of inhibit those bad habits. Question on YouTube. Do you guys you have you have to sell on the way up, guys? That's the rule. You have to sell on the way up. Uh, what selling on the way up does is this: it locks in your profit, plus it cushions you. So now, if you're up 25 cents, you can be red on the last position, 25 cents, and you still be okay. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, question on YouTube. Do you guys stream every day? No. So let me walk you through this as we don't want to mislead anybody because we are not pumpers. We don't give alerts and we're not streaming every single day. This is a webinar. This is one time a week that I do this. Bao does an IG live on Instagram and Alex does a YouTube live. 
But guys, we do not normally stream every day like this because people who do that can be pumpers. So we teach you how to trade. You go in our watch list section every morning. We talk about the lines and then we talk about it in commentary form. People that just stream all day or get on a microphone or give alerts, there's very, 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 very- uh, uh, that The one thing that other people don't do is uh, we actually reply to, to uh, private messages and stuff. So you can ask questions. We don't gag anybody. So these other services, what they do is they pump, they pump, but they won't ever let you talk. They won't let you ask questions. They don't, if you go against their trade, they'll block you. Oh shit. You know, Johnny, I don't, I don't mean to call you out brother, but you did it publicly on YouTube. So let me just kind of comment on this. This is wonderful. Well, wonderful in the sense that now we can learn, right? Um, he goes, that's legit. Tosh, I have no clue what I'm doing. It's amazing. I even brought 15,000 to 52 K so, so, so you made an account from 15K to 52, back down to 16 currently. Johnny, what you need, brother, is a process because I'm sure you got very lucky and then you got very unlucky and you still don't know why. So the whole point, Johnny, is there is truly a language to this, brother, and we can show you what you're doing wrong, what you're doing good. And the cool part is, is I mean, you're, you're, you're comfortable enough with this game to even have, you know, of, you know, upside potential like that, but the downside potential is what we need to mitigate. So um, I, I think you you spend a little money on yourself, education yeah. guys. I mean, just think about this, man. If you if you're able to do that, you can do that again. But now with yeah. our help, with the education, you can learn how to do it properly the next time. Yeah, because one of two th happen one of two things happens, Johnny. At this point in the game, is obviously you've had big swings, fifteen to fifty two, back to sixteen. What happens, brother, is you're going to do it again the exact same way, or it just goes to zero. It's just in this game, it is impossible when you don't know what to do to just keep getting lucky. You know, to fifty two k and then a hundred k and then a million. It's just that doesn't happen, man. And if it does happen to people, eventually they give it back because again, you're in a casino, you're gambling. Hey, I'm on a fucking hot streak. And then, oh shit, craps took all my money from last week. Like eventually the casino, unless you learn to beat the casino that is the stock market, brother, it goes right back to the fucking casino. Let me tell you. I, I just- we, uh, The guy that asked me, do you, we do share entry and exit, but we, we don't pump them out. Yeah, it's- No, it's, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you, hey, I'm in this position, chase it. Yeah, guys, it's more so in the main trading chat when you see what we're doing or you see what we're talking about. We're posting as, you know, as live as we can or, or you know, giving warnings. It, it, it's live commentary. So it's kind of like- Well, you saw my chart. That's why I post every day. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Doing. Exactly what Val's doing in the webinar section is what we do in the live commentary every day. He posts, he shows you why, what he was looking for. But if Val were to, you have to understand this as well. If Val were to say- I'm shorting VYGR or longing VYGR at a certain level. If a stock gets too crowded on one side, and this is why we don't stream or pump, is the inverse might happen exactly what quote unquote should have happened if you're just a knowledgeable trader. But when a ton of people crowd the, the same side, the move may not even work because now everybody's running and gunning for the same thing. So what I want everybody to do is to be self-sufficient. By looking at our trade execution, they're not perfect by any means, but by looking at it, you can understand the mindset, uh, why we enter, how we exit. Uh, show them the watch list again, because that's very important. Yep. The watch list will help you pay for your membership. This was the watch list today, guys, by Alex. Um, Alex does the watch list every single day and a couple mods, but mostly we use Alex as an example. Um, I'll use LMFA as an example because it's the most clear cut. Patiently waiting for a death candle, then we do what we do. We nail and bail. Now, when this did have a death candle, Alex got the pop, which me and Bao didn't because we were waiting for higher, but Alex is a little bit more aggressive. Well, probably a lot more aggressive than us. And he hit it, but that's the point. So that's the plan there. You know, VYGR, like I'll pull that up and kind of the commentary. So in the morning, say we are approaching the morning, you know, say this is live right here when you're reading this. Um, hot chick of the day, which it was, it was the strongest stock on Raider and it's also easy to borrow. So this wasn't a void for me on the short side, which unfortunately this didn't really cooperate like most ETBs and hot chicks do. There was a short in this, but honestly guys, not too much. And this was kind of a headache all day. So we teach you how to stay safe. We teach you what to look for and we teach you what to do each day through these kind of commentary. Um, All right, so watch, the watch list is 88 to 100%. Effective, meaning that if it hits those lines, you're you're 88 to 100 percent likely going to make money. And so a lot of members use this to learn, uh, as well as to you know if they want to copy. So you want to talk about alerts? If you want alerts, those are our alerts, guys. 
a watch list is the best alert you can get. Right. And, and um, there's the best type of um, alert is because we alert them an hour before the market even opens. Well, and Bal, we should, we should say this. We have actually back tested hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of examples of Alex's watch list. And in doing so, anytime that he says, hey, XYZ ticker symbol I want at this level to this line has a 92% win rate that if it did hit the line, it worked exactly as Alex planned. And the 8% or the 10% of the time that it doesn't, you set a hard stop and you take it from there. And that's what true trading is, guys. Hopefully. Um, yeah, we have Tom, Tom does the watch list too. He's one of my moderators. Yep. And Joe, Joe Kelly does the large cap watch list. So we have large caps, options, and small caps. Yep. So to answer this guy's question on YouTube where he goes, um, how do you guys help traders construct their own trading plan system and edge at MIC? Um, it's a culmination of everything, brother. It's guys, 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 I want to end it right now. You are not going to fucking create your own trading plan because who the hell are you? You started trading. It took me 15 years to create a, a profitable trading plan. <laughs> so, yeah. so what you do is we have proven strategies based around a proven process, okay, coupled with proper risk management that we that it works. A lot of these guys, they come into trading, they think they can reinvent the wheel. I mean, dude, you just started trading. It's, it's like, okay, I, I learned to drive a car. Let's, let's, let's create a uh, new Tesla. I'm like, what the hell, right? So you can drive. I mean, dude, you barely learned how to drive. Now you want to make a car? So <laughs> the first thing you do is this, guys. Learn our process. It works. It works. Uh, members, you can type out so that everybody can see, like, does it work? <laughs> the watch list itself is evident that it works. So you learn the process, okay? And by learning the process, you become profitable, and then you can tweak the process to fit your personality. But you're not coming in here trying to reinvent the wheel, and that's how you lose money, guys. That, that's the arrogance. The arrogance, okay, I'm gonna create a new Fibonacci sequence like some of these idiots do, right? <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I'm gonna figure out how to do, the, the, <laughs> to do a PhD thing, and I, I barely graduated algebra, you know? Exactly. So oh, guys, I'm telling you, man, it's, you don't have to be smart. You just have to be disciplined to follow what we say. And yep. then, you know what, man? Once you learn and you become self-sufficient and consistent, do whatever you want. Yeah, that's that's exactly right, guys. And and like Bao just said, we already laid down the structure and, and, and the foundation and everything. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. And to answer your question as much as follow what do you do? Does this guy not watch this? He goes, um... There is no live text message on Discord. We use Slack. Are you not watching the YouTube? <laughs> and pull up the pull up our Slack. It's, it's, awesome. up. it's up. It's right here, man. This is not. I, know, I don't know what he's looking at. He goes, "There's no text messaging." I mean, guys, we use Slack. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> he's not watching the webinar. <laughs> this is our OnlyFans thread. <laughs> is that Korean? The Squid Game. <laughs> Guys, go to the go to our website, myinvestmentclub.com. Information is there. Please do not ask me what the URL is. I had people ask me that. Guys, myinvestmentclub.com right here. You can get every piece of information you need. To text me is to get special rates or discounted rates that are ending tomorrow and or get any other further questions, you know, answered. But I mean, guys, videos right here. You know, my yeah. MIC. Oh, Gad, Gad Reiser. I know where you're from. Wish order. Those, those taken from our fantasy orders. So they, a lot of the people use our terms, but they change the name. So that's our fantasy orders. They call it wish orders the world. <laughs> we don't always use it. I mean, it depends. I mean, what is your question? I don't understand. <laughs> Do we always say that in, in, in trading, there's no such thing as always. <laughs> wish orders. <laughs> yeah, wish orders from IU, I think. Hope orders, wish orders, <laughs> wish orders, fancy orders, and uh, we call them fancy orders. But you know, what a fancy order is? It's just you know the price that that you hope the, to get filled at, and when it fills there, usually. So the the way I do fancy orders is this: that's when I am most clear headed. I'm not emotional. I'm not in the trade yet, so I know exactly where I can enter exit. So I call that predefining my risk. Uh, create a trading plan. The trading plan includes where to enter and where to exit for both a winner and a loss. Okay. And so the entries I usually do is I put starters out at certain areas of the line. I call those fancy orders and then I market opens. 
And I just wait. Basically, those are limit orders, guys. Dude. So I don't use market orders. I use limit orders. Guys, fantasy orders and tight stops is how you stay the safest possible in trading. You wait for the outermost line that equates to your process, set a stop, and you will never lose your entire account one day. You'll rarely hit a max loss, and that is how you be a trader for 10 or 20 years. Stop overthinking and think you have to be Elon Musk to trade. Stop chasing, stop revenge trading, stop FOMOing into everything. And guess what? You are gonna have a 95% better chance than any random schmuck out there on Twitter that thinks he's got a, you know, whatever, any talent whatsoever. You gotta stop overcomplicating this shit, man. I, I, I hear all the time, people that join. Oh man, I, I have all these bad habits. I don't trust these lines and stuff. Eventually what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose your money. And you go, you know what, man, you were right. Uh, in trading, guys, in trading, when you start trading for the first time, you have no idea what works, what not. Dude, I had no <laughs> idea my first trade. <laughs> when, when, when you pay for MIC, you're not just paying for the, for the technical uh, education, you're paying for the experience so that you don't have to repeat the same mistakes that we did. You don't have to fucking lose millions of dollars <laughs> like we did, right, to, to learn this stuff, guys. Seriously? So you're paying, you're paying not necessarily for just us teaching you. You're paying for my pain, my pain and, and torture I've been going through. Those, those nights where Val cried himself to sleep, you're paying for those. <laughs> the so that you don't have to do it, man. So imagine like, you know, like if that, this is why you have, a, you're a parent to a child. The child does not have to put his hand on a hot stove. To learn this, you tell the child, do not put your hand on the hot stove. If your child is dumb, then he's not going to believe you that he's going to do it. But then eventually he's going to stop. And that's what MIC is, guys. Yeah, We're telling you to do it. Imagine the trading world like as if, you know, you've never seen a car before and you've never seen roads. And then someone said, hey, here's a car. You can technically, you know, no one's going to stop you from driving this immediately unless you get pulled over by a cop. But here, go take this car out and drive. And people would be like, how the fuck do I operate this thing? What? And new traders just try to get in the markets and drive the car immediately. And guess what? They get in wrecks. Police pull them over. They get fees. They get traffic lights. They have no idea why. They make wrong turns. They blast another. The point is, is trading is like just, here's a car and technically you can go trade and drive and you don't even know how to turn the car on. It's the same. You want to go to DMV. You want to go to traffic school. You want to go to driving school. You want to get your license. Entering MIC is getting your license to price action. That's what it is. There's no difference. There are rules to this shit. And if you don't obey those rules, you're going to get fucking wrecked, dude. You're going to get wrecked. And you're going to give in your hard-earned money from your construction jobs, from your waiter jobs, from your nine-to-five jobs, from your inheritance. And we don't want that. We want you to suck up your fucking ego, say, what's $2,000 to learn for an entire year? Learn everything we have to offer and then some. And you may or may not need MIC after that. Most don't, but they stay. And now you can do it for the next 100 years. Uh, the, 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 the honest owner? Who's cutting who off? What do you want to hear? What? What? <laughs> Your owners, why does he keep cutting you off? I'm oh, he, was, he was saying to his answer before, but you, you answered that. Um, when I was saying something, Ian is he's or Lanus, he already answered it. He answered your question. Uh -oh. I don't understand what happened. Mike, micro pullback. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we're not here to sell MSC anymore, man. I'm, I'm, I'm like, dude, man, we, we know it works, guys. We have plenty of great traders at work. If, if you are uncertain, then you know what, man, my, what's going to happen is you're going to end up two things. You're going to trade on your own loose, and then you're going to join a pump room because you think that, hey, this guy's making hell of money. He must know what he's doing. <laughs> and then you're going to lose again. And then, and then when you go broke, you're going to ask for a discount, but it's too late because there's no more monthly and there's no more discounts. <laughs> oh, God, dude. If, if, if P&Ls were the true transparency everyone needed, then every Furu would be the king dick on the planet. If you guys get lured in by a big P&L to these Furu rooms, congratulations, you've been conned. Congratulations. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so, we have a... Uh, Around nine minutes left. Yeah, guys. Any, any, any questions, guys? Questions. Any questions? Do you need me to run through the, the what's happening tomorrow with the pricing or anything like that? Do you have any questions about the charts? Um, anything like that? Guys, guys, I we all been where you've been. We all blown up accounts. And I'm telling you, you do not have to do that. 
Okay, we've been through there. I know exactly how to prevent you from blowing up. We have risk parameters that we, we tell people what to do. Because when I started, I didn't know about hard stops. I didn't know about max dating loss, things like that. No one's going to tell you this stuff, man. When you blow up and then someone tells you, you're like, why didn't you tell me before? So this is my whole point to you guys, man. You, you, you are, if trading was the easiest thing on earth, everybody would be rich, but they're not. Trading is very simple, but it's not easy. It's, it's, we even simplified it down because we know what works and what doesn't. So, I mean, I mean, uh, if you, you just have to ask yourself, did you lose more than 200 bucks today? That's it. <laughs> you guys, like, even when you're a good trader, even when you've been doing this for a while, it doesn't matter. You can't be lax about this. You can't take it lightly. It's a job. It's an industry where it's sharky, eat, you know, dog eat dog. And, like, there's sharks and there's minnows and guppies. And we teach you how to stay safe in a realm of people who are really trying to take your money. And I'm not talking about a furu service or anything. I, well, them too. That's the first stage. I'm talking about price action, man, where agendas are formed and insiders are dumping and it's, they're trying to take your money. So we're trying to educate you guys on the reality of this. And that's why Johnny, when you're like, Hey man, I, you know, turned 15, or I turned 16 K into 52, then back to 16 or whatever it was. I mean, brother, there could be a really identifiable reason for that. Like if we started looking at your charts and tearing it apart and be like, Oh dude, here's why, man, you're fighting trend. You're doing this, bro. You're doing et cetera, et cetera, man. But the elimination of ego and saying, what is, you know, $2,000 for a year of true education? Um, you know, you can equate it to any industry. Hey, you know, I want to learn how to flip houses. Guess what? You don't just go flip a house. Alex tried that four years ago without a mentor and he only broke 30, like he made a profit of like 30 grand, but it took six months, a headache. And if he made that a full-time job, Alex would be back at Starbucks, right? Alex, Alex is like, no, dude, I know what works, man. Um, I do, I'm a trader. I learn trading. If I want to flip a house, I'll leave that to the guys who do that for a living. You don't just go flip a house. You get a course on it. You learn about it. There are certain things that you like. The point is, man, is this is a language you've got to learn or you're fucking dead. It's, um, dead. it takes time guys. It's like a doctor, man. If you, if doc, you know, if you want to operate on Kim Kardashian, you got to go to school first and spend another 10 years. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you can't just go straight to Kim Kardashian. You have to you have to get Chris Jenner first, and then. <laughs> so what makes you think any differently than tra with trading, right? You got to work your way up, baby. <laughs> Guys, you have to learn. Otherwise, it's gambling. I am telling you right now, trading is not gambling. There's a reason why a certain amount of certain people win all the time and certain people lose all the time. Yeah, seriously. You can hear it in what they say, man. The guys that are touting the same shit every day. I mean, there's a re there's one guy on Twitter, man, which we see every single day. Max lost, hit again, lost again, lost. And, and like, <laughs> we know why he's losing. He doesn't because his ego is <laughs> judgment. But we know it's not. Guys. We look at his charts. The fucker fights trend every goddamn day and then wonders why he loses. And we're like, oh, my God, bro. Like, we can help you. But sorry, we're busy helping all of our member bases. So we're not going to go out of our way on Twitter all day to help you. We have 2,000 members we got to take care of. But we know why you're losing. I hope, I hope you guys learned something from this today. <laughs> yep. Any other questions, guys? We, uh, we all know what we need to do. We just need to overcome our ego and ask for help. That's pretty much what it is. <clears throat> Asking for help is not weakness, man. Ask for help is not weakness, guys. There's things I'm fucking terrible at. But guess what? I need a mentor. I'm not good at that. I need a mentor. But I, I wish someone helped me when I started. I would not lose all that money. <laughs> well, Val, you you were trading back in the days where traders didn't even exist, bro. Trading <laughs> I was trading before they had uh, WhatsApp, so <laughs> no one even talked to me. <laughs> we have we had AIM, yeah, uh, Merck, M I R C. <laughs> Dude, Bow Bow traded in a day, man, where people didn't even know the stock market existed. <laughs> Bell has like the first ticker tape of the first the level two ever. <laughs> Dude, I'm not joking, man. I remember back then, uh, we I used to look through a newspaper to get my quotes. <laughs> Bell was trading back in the days when cavemen were literally etching into stone what the level two orders were. <laughs> Holy shit! Yep. We're passionate, man. If we're brutal on you, I'm sorry, but it, you know, there's some things that just need to be said after four years, man, we are still giving webinars as if it's our first webinar because we love to do this. We love to help others, educate you guys the right way. And fuck, man, there's not a person on earth. You can't learn something from maybe you come in the club and teach us something like that's the whole point of life, man, forever student, forever getting better. And just elimination is going to help you in every area of your life, but most importantly, trading.
It really will. It just really will. The proof is in the pudding, guys. The guys with no ego usually do better by a, by a wide margin. I'm just going to say that outright. Yep. And when you come in, uh, for, uh, the hardest thing is to unlearn bad habits, guys. Yeah. So the sooner you learn the right way, the better it is. You're just going to save yourself a bunch of time, guys, because the guy that comes in and he had like three years of really bad habits, unfortunately, this guy is very hard to teach compared to a guy that's brand new and kind of like a, like a fresh palate, just kind of, you know, he's learned nothing before because now he can just focus on the beauty and the things that work versus a guy that's like, wait a sec, I was taught this. I don't understand why you're doing the opposite. Like, what does that even mean? Um, yeah. Sean, I will always do these webinars, brother, every single Wednesday. Yes. For many years to come. Yes. Don't worry about that. <laughs> that was first trade. <laughs> no, look at it. Uh, <laughs> First ever ticker tape print. <laughs> <clears throat> that was like churning butter on a farm. Like getting hey, more, more, more like smoke signals, bro. Smoke signals. <laughs> uh, guys, three minutes until uh, market close. I, I think we answered everyone's question. Maybe one last minute question. Did you guys get your questions answered? <laughs> Um, how did I reach you, Tosh? Uh, so check it out. I have it right here. 213-458-5997. If you have any questions, please don't call this number unless you have a book call. But if you have any questions through text, please send them over. If you desperately, desperately, desperately need a call, we can schedule one. Um, but email as well, Tosh at my, myinvestingclub.com for anybody who's maybe international, can't get through the line. That happens every now and then. Some international gets through, some doesn't. It's weird. Uh, I don't know why that's the case, but or, guys, or, or MIC alerts, uh, email Lambo at MIC.com. <laughs> Where and when Lambo at MIC. <laughs> oh my God, man. Right, but guys. You guys are awesome, dude. We're going to wrap this up because I need to eat something. Bal just exited the buffet, but I need to know the buffet. So <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. We'll see you in after hours and hit my line, man. See you All guys. right, guys. See, see ya. Bye. Thanks, guys.